Hello guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide how we can easily use Teamwork. Teamwork is a really great project management tool and I believe that after finishing this video you will know exactly how to use it. So without further ado, let's start. When you enter Teamwork you will see a few things here. My recommendation is to click on Home and in Home you will see My Work. Uh, under Your Work you will see Personal Tasks and Tasks. Then you're going to see your projects here. We will create a project. Activities, what were you doing? Then you will see dashboard, like your events, log time or upcoming milestones. Unread comments, messages and events. Then you will simply see projects. Planning, we will get to it too. Reports, literally everything here. Like combine all the projects, all the tasks that you would see in everything. Calendar and your people that you invited. On right top side, you can see add your team, upgrade now, search or add. A quick add is really important for quickly adding project tasks or even start timer or milestone. I recommend also using the uh, keys, key shortcuts for adding the task, for example, that's really effective. So, First thing first, I want to uh, show you how you can add someone to your team. Click add your team and you want to add an email. Automatically, you can add, uh, you can add multiple emails here. My first project, invite. One user invited Then I'm going to refresh it. And in people, voila, I can see two users right now myself and someone that I invited. Now to go further, uh, what you can do is just simply click project and let's create a new project. I'm going to top right add a project and add a project world domination master plan. I'm going to name it YouTube channel. Let's say that I'm going to create a YouTube channel and I want to create videos, etc. YouTube channel, add a project. You can, add, you can add also like description of the project, etc. The first thing first, uh, what you need to create is a task list. Create a task list, give a list a name, and I'm going to name it YouTube week, or like, let's say March. Uh, would you like to use a template? <clears throat> you can add notes to the task list, privacy, Oh, everybody on the project or you can change the privacy. Milestones, you can create directly milestone in your task list and default. You can pin this also. Add a task list. When you're going to do it, you can add to your task list a first task. So what needs to be done? Uh, we need to create a script for YouTube channel in YouTube March. Now, who should do this? So, anyone, me, you can choose more. And you can assign someone to your project. Then, you're going to see the start date and due date. Okay. Then, you see, this is a description. You can simply also add attach a file you can add a privacy priority then you can see also the progress that you can set up and change followers who will get notifications about activity on this task dependencies repeat or like if the uh, task is going to repeat every week reminders that I can add here for the task one day before due date needs to be done add this reminder tags and custom fields you can add uh, your custom fields if you want to save changes and voila as we can see we got like script and we need to create a script created by and i see a date here and everything is really easy to understand. So this is how we can simply add a script. 
What you can do also, let me show you. You can add a people to the project. That's what I wanted to show you when you go to more and people. You can simply add Mark Kamenitsky that I invited by email. The next thing I want to show you how you can simply add a board, add a column. Column name is going to be uh, preparation. Column name second is going to be progress. Column name third is going to be finish and cancel. And now what can I do is to simply add a card. So let's go preparation is going to be YouTube script. See, or I can go with a YouTube video. I can go to finish and this is how you can simply work with the board. And as you can see, um, I see the task details here and I can simply add the files here. Uh, I can add a subtask to it. Save changes, which is like really simple and really easy. And like for every subtask, it works like a task, but it's under another task, right? So this is how you can work with a board. When you come here to list, you can see that I have a cards here. And I have the YouTube script, I have the subtask here, and I have YouTube video. So it's exactly what we can see here in board. So, yeah. And also, you can get a little bit get lost to it. So I really like to just like closing it out. When you go further to dashboard, in dashboard, you're gonna see uh, the activity and summary, what was happening. So I see that all tasks here, the board, what was happening here. And in activity, you just you can just see what was happening. When you go to files, in files, you can simply uh, add the files to your project. Let's say that I'm going to upload my script time. Again, you can simply add the first time log. And now who, date, when was happening, time spent, and if it was billable or no. Description. This is a description. And what you can do, it's like just add it to existing task here. Let's say I'm going to add it to we need to create a script. Select the task. And I was working on a script. Look this time. And voila. We see right here we need to create a script. You to merge when I go here to my list. I can click on it and I can see my whole task and I can see the time log here, right? And I can log even more time. Then you have milestones here and you can simply again add a milestone. So let's say that when this is due, 18th of March, this is a milestone. You can also change who is going to be responsible, add a description. You can add uh, privacy and followers, tasks list and tags. And simply click add a milestone. And as you can see in milestones, you will be able to see, okay, this is a milestone. You can edit it again. Quick you can add a tag or attach a task list. And again, I'm going to choose YouTube March. And voila, two days away. And so this is pretty much it, how it works. Then you're going to see messages here and more. So in more, you can see Gantt. And now in Gantt, uh, you will see your tasks list. You can simply add a new task here. You can move it, like how many days it's going to take. And you can edit the task, etc. So this is what you can do. Then you have a comments here, some notebook where I can add this is my journal in this journal. And you can, as you can see, you got many options how you can work with the text here. So that's really great and that's really effective. What you can do with it. 
links. Again, you can add links here, people, and this is where you can invite a new people to your project and you have settings here. So uh, you see like project features here that you can like edit the top tabs, the category, the start page, contact info. And I recommend like editing, editing it like what do you actually need? So when you don't need files and let's say I don't need milestones and messages then I'm not going to use those. So I would just disable them. Again, as you can see, you can enable billing here. So let's say I'm going to use it and I'm going to edit top tabs. This is really effective and really great to edit straight away when you're going to start working on your project. So let's say that I added billing here, right? And as you can see the billing and what can I do is to simply see billing and I can add an invoice. I can add expense. So that's what I can do and that's uh, how it's really effective. So add an invoice, invoice number ID, and you can edit it. And it's really great that you can uh, do it based on locked time that you would create. You would make it billable and then you would simply create invoice for it. So in that regard, uh, having billing is really effective. But again, it's completely up to you how you're going to edit the project features here. So that's pretty much it. Let's go from project to other options here. After the project, you can see the planning here. In planning, you can simply uh, have a workload here, portfolio and chart. And what you can do is to simply add a board. Board name is going to be YouTube board. You can choose the color and you can add to your board the description. And in your board, YouTube board, I can add the columns. So as you can see that in the planning, be done, then I can simply hmm, finish, right? And you can simply see uh, in your portfolio. Now what you can do, you can manage the columns and you can edit those columns. And then you have a chart here uh, that you can like add project to your chart. So this is how it works. And I would see the projects right here. Now, next thing is reports. In reports, you can see the time left, four months, task completion, 0%, budget left and health. So you will be able to see everything about your project. Then you have everything here and in everything, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you can see literally everything to do cards, YouTube, a March, my tasks list, my task, and you can edit everything here, right? So I can simply come here and I can quick view into it. I can finish in progress. I can add a lock time on a task here. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Then I see the completed tasks milestones, messages, comments, and you would see literally everything when you're going to have like five projects. This is a really great way how you can get to know everything. The next thing is a calendar. In calendar, you can simply go to top right and add an event. So YouTube meetup. I'm going to uh, change the date here. Let's say to 18 or like having a whole day. Repeat, let's say that it's going to repeat monthly, same day, same day of the month. Then you have like details here, aware, description, you can edit the privacy, people, attending. Also, I can make it as a reminder. So this is what you can do. And now just simply click here, add an event. And voila, here you can see my event. Now, when you go further, let's say I'm going to move to April again on 18. I can see it right here. Then what you can do is to simply add, as I mentioned, the last thing are people. 
and now I can see the company, I can add a new one, then I get to see the people, I can invite users here, as I did in the beginning, teams, you can add a new team to the member, so let's say that I would have marketing team or I would have a team for designers, statuses, again I can go to the right, update my status and add an update right here, login history, and you can see the history of your team. Then, as I mentioned, on the top right, you can add, a, let's say, task, and I can add a YouTube channel under the company of Sunway SRO. This is a task assigned to, and as you can see, you can literally add a task from a home button, and you don't have to even like go into the project. So that's pretty much, that's pretty huge. Add a task and voila, view task. And I can see the task right here. So this is how you can use the quick add. And I really like that you got the key shortcuts that you can use. Then what you can do also is have a teamwork chat here. And you can manage applications. And you can have like teamwork CRM, teamwork spaces, teamwork desk and you can enable those also and this is how you can also use the teamwork crm you see the leads here opportunities mail activities so This is how you can edit everything and how we can also work with the teamwork CRM. Now, when you go back, what you can do is go top right and you can also see the settings and you can edit the tree, everything here, like site name, logo, templates, etc. So thank you very much guys for watching. If you have any questions, uh, ask me down below in the comments. I'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance. And have a great day and goodbye. See ya.